Hey guys, my name is Ryan. I've uh, run lbirds.com for quite a while and also I'm working on my new grasshopper squadron project and uh, I'm here to review quickly for you the Virginia Piper L4 grasshopper. This is a World War II liaison aircraft. I was uh, really excited when this came out because I've been interested in liaison aircraft for over a decade. My uh, interest began as a young boy when I was interested in World War II aircraft and as I became a pilot in my early 20s I uh, ended up joining the Alamo Liaison Squadron down in San Antonio, Texas and flew liaison aircraft with the Liaison Squadron there and so we were all about telling stories related to these kinds of planes. So uh, first thing off is I was super excited because you don't see very many liaison aircraft on the market. I've actually not even been able to find a die cast Piper L4 that's really that great. So as a, you know having run lbirds.com for a while I saw this and I was like I definitely want to uh, take a look at it. So we're going to look at it here for you today. This is a 1 to 35th scale model that Brickmania had designed. It's uh, designed by John Canepa. It comes with uh, 366 Lego and Brick Arms elements, and it also does come with a pilot figure. The pilot figure is actually uh, very nice looking, and it's printed on both sides. And it comes with a really well printed and nice looking set of instructions, as you can see here. And the instructions are very well done. And it comes with a decal set, or stickers actually, that you can put on the aircraft. This aircraft is modeled after a specific World War II plane called Rosie the Rocketeer. Or Rosie the Rocketer. And here's the cover artwork on the box. Backside is another view of the aircraft. And you've got some specs on the top. Uh, as far as a kit, it's a good kit. Uh, it's about as sturdy as I think you could expect for a uh, light aircraft. It's only about three studs wide. It does come with bazookas, and uh, it's relatively sturdy. I mean, it can be dropped. Which one of the gears a little bit on the fragile side, as you can see there, but it's it's reasonably good for what the landing gear should look like on a real L4. It does not come with the the, uh, the sweep back triangle right here, which would be a major feature of all the liaison aircraft. Uh, the biggest thing I guess that I would say that doesn't quite work, um, most of the Piper L4s came with a greenhouse. Some of the early aircraft that were used by the Army for the trials were designed right off the Piper Cub, and they would have a two-person um, cockpit, and they would have had this U-shaped cutout followed by uh, fabric all the way back to the tail. And this aircraft actually is shaped in the cockpit more like a J3 Cub than a uh, Piper L4. The L4 would have had a, a clear glass framework or a greenhouse as we call it uh, quite a bit farther back maybe two or so studs behind the wings um, I'll go ahead and show you a photograph of that here in just a second here's a good look at a Piper L4 this one is a fairly aircraft fairly well-known aircraft named Janie and you can see back here that the cockpit would have extended quite a bit farther back other than that, uh, considering the difficulty of designing something like this with Lego blocks, I think it's a very well designed kit. The aircraft, as like I said, is designed on a real aircraft called Rose the Rocketeer. Here is actually a look on the top left of the real Rose the Rocketeer with Major Carpenter. Um, you have the logo right there. You have underwing bazookas 
One thing that I did note that's missing in the decals is the K on the back. And uh, of course the, uh, the tail number is much larger on this kit. But I was actually very happy to see that uh, Brittany uh, produced this aircraft. It would have been uh, pivotal for the ground forces. In fact, I've uh, done some events where I've actually spoken about liaison aircraft, and there are quotes from people who were actually there saying that the American artillery, as directed by the Ford observers who flew these L-4s, were uh, pivotal to the American victory. In fact, even the Germans acknowledged that. Uh, as far as the kit's design, uh, the engine is a little on the uh, blocky side. It's decent. Um, I want to say that in real life the A65 Continental would have had opposing uh, cylinders, but this is actually pretty good. It looks good from the side. Um, the bazookas are a little fragile. You have to be careful of these. They'll fall off quite easily, um, but they, they generally do look approximately like the, uh, the original Rose of the Rocketeer. Um, the struts, in real life, they're a V shape. Again, very difficult to achieve in LEGO. Overall, um, I really like the concept. I really like that they built it. I think maybe as LEGO comes out with new pieces and parts, we may have an even better version of this in the future. But for now, I'm uh, happy that we had designed and built this and produced the kit. And uh, <clears throat> if you're interested in what is on plane in LEGO, this is about as good as you're going to get. So I'd say, as far as accuracy, I'd give it probably mm, 6 to 7 of 10 on the shape, mainly because of the greenhouse, and also there's, there's things I would maybe change on the nose and on the landing gear, uh, but it definitely captures the profile very, very well from the top. Um, you can see the pilot minifigure in there. Uh, as far as the historical aspect, I think this is a 10. You definitely, if you have allied forces, you definitely ought to have a grasshopper protecting them from or directing the artillery fire from the air, and you would definitely want to have those eyes up in the sky. Anyway, that's my review. I hope you uh, will leave some comments and let me know what you think, and you may do some further reviews in the future, such as this 155 Long Tom, which is one of the guns that the L4 would have been directing fire for, as well as something like uh, this 105mm howitzer that I built from Omaha Birds. Check out lbirds.com, and Grasshopper Squadron is a project we're working on for kids coming in the future. Thanks.